Okay, so it's a little after four o'clock today in Tucson, so we're gonna start video three. And uh, normally I would have done this a little sooner, but uh, I just wanted you to see it here, the whole thing. So you wanna take off the blue tape and you can just throw that away. And then I take like a little knife here and I cut that off. And I'll even go in just along the edge here, cut this away. I just don't want anything interfering with the vacuum because this is the side that's gonna go against the uh, vacuum silicone pad. So I like to have about a sixteenth of an inch here uh, and make sure the center is below as well. This is the horse head one. So you want to go around and loosen this up and then just pull it off. Um, I like to take, smooth it off around there. And then I like to take my thumb and turn this edge into more of a rounded edge. Or, and that, what that'll do is it'll prevent, when I go to pour the metal, if it hits the edge, most likely it's not going to break off and go down into the hole. Okay, so that one is, is ready. So now we do the second one. Peel off the blue tape here. Got a lot on there this time. This is the skull. It's got the initials BS on here. So we're going to take, cut away again on around the edge. This is kind of a really dull bench knife, pocket knife. I don't think I'd do this with anything too sharp. And there's little pieces sticking up in the center, so I'm just going to cut those off. Again, the goal here is to have a really good vacuum when that sets down on the silicone pad. So now this one, when we take off the bottom, you want to do it easily because, well, as you can see, I broke a little bit off right there. It's nice to have this as flat as possible because it's going to sit down and you don't want it to, to be uneven. So again, I'm going to take and smooth this edge right here. Smooth that where I broke it. Smooth the edge right there. And so now we're at the ending point of the third video. All right. Thank you.